this is a good opportunity to kind of dive further into this, this question, because it's a really good question about like motivation and what motive it's like essentially kind of looking at like the quote unquote, why, right? If you've heard that before, like, why do you do what you do? Why do you, you know, play baseball? Why do you, you know, all that stuff, which is very interesting if you really think about it. Um, so the whole concept of, you know, like what, uh, how do I find motivation? Right. Cause like there's so many things. So take baseball, for example, you have baseball as your underlying thing that you're trying to compete and be the best player at. And then you have all of these other tiers of like, what, what are going to influence that performance aspect, whether it be training, nutrition, recovery, um, sleeping, all these just all these like little branches of things, right. That you kind of know that you need to do to accomplish the foundational goal of being a better baseball player. Um, but then like you go to dive into it and it's like, man, I'm, I'm just not really motivated, right? Like I don't have any desire to train five times a week, or I don't have any desire to eat breakfast or 1500 calories before 9am, all these things. Right. So, um, advice about training alone. All right. So the training alone thing, I'm weird. And I understand that I, I have always just found more joy in training alone because I can kind of just do what I want to do. And I don't have to wait on anyone and like, you know, stuff like that. Like, again, I'm very fortunate. I have a home gym and you know, all that stuff. Um, I do believe in the accountability partner aspect of it too. Like if you can get somebody that's similar goal orientated to you. It doesn't have to be the same sport. Just like, I want to improve myself in the gym. I want to improve my physical performance. That way you guys can link up. Like that's fantastic. But the whole concept pertaining to motivation of, of training alone, I find it as always. All right. I'll start. I'll go two things. First thing, first thing, motivation is temporary, right? Passion last forever. So if you're passionate about something, we have that baseball performance tier, right? Like that's the foundation of this whole dynamic. If you're passionate about that, then all of the other tiers, right? All these other levels of things that will influence that, that the big domino, um, you now are passionate about, right? Because if you're passionate about performing and the game, um, and, and improving, then all of the things that that come about within that need to be passionate about. You need to be passionate about because they they all matter. The reason why you feel like you're not maybe is because you don't understand the importance of those dominoes or those those tiers, right? That influence baseball performance. You don't understand the importance of those and how they relate to your your performance in baseball. I see that a lot. Honestly, I see that I've done that. I've been there, right? Like at 18, you're like, I don't need to freaking spend two hours in the gym, dude. Like I'm a baseball player, you know, like I'll just go throw. Right. Um, but all of those things, they matter. Right. All right. So, um, so motivation is temporary passion and last, like that's something that has always worked for me. The reason I think I put so much emphasis in that is because I have to stay in a mindful, like a mindfulness surrounding everything I do throughout the day. Is it right? Like you asked the question, is it influencing my goal? Okay. It's hard and requires a ton of sacrifice. That's why like the people that do it at the highest level, right? The people, the, the performers, the athletes, like that's why they get paid so much because of the amount of sacrifice. Right? I fall victim of that sometimes too, when I'm at night, you know, winding down to go to bed, but then all of a sudden I get a sweet tooth and I'm like, man, that freaking Kit Kat Butterfinger Reese's looks so good. But I know if I eat that thing, dude, my recovery score is going to freaking plummet the next day. I'm going to be on the toilet, like all these things, right? That, that kind of impact that, uh, that big domino. So I think for me giving the answer, I guess, to the question about like, how do I stay motivated? It's, uh, it's always like being mindful of the big goal. And every decision you make throughout the day 
is that positively influencing the goal that you have for yourself that you're passionate about or is it not? And then we go from there, right? But I mean, shoot, man, like we're human beings. Like I've been there, dude. I've, I've, I've been there to where like, for some reason I'll have a week where like the gym just, it just doesn't sound good and I don't want to do it. And that's just the reality of it. I'm a human, but I think you find so much growth when you're like, I acknowledge that I don't want to do this, but I'm going to freaking do it right? Because I want to be the best version of myself. I want to, I want to accomplish my goal. So I do it. And then after you do it, you're like sitting there and you're like, man, I'm proud of myself, right? Like that's just a different feeling. So something that helps me is like, even though there's times where like, I'm just not in it mentally, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm like kind of visualizing like how much better I'll feel when I get it done. Right. And that doesn't mean I'm going to coast through it because I know subconsciously it's not going to work regardless. So I'm mindful of like, man, I got to grind through this, but with every grind there's growth. And if you can grind through, you know, whatever, however long your workout is, even though you're not feeling it. And then after it's done, you're like, frick, dude, I just accomplished something. What's next. Now I'm hungry. I believe so much in the task completion, um, I don't even know what I would call it, just like completing tasks, especially like right when your day starts. That's why I love training at 5 a.m. Right when your day starts, you're going to be more inclined to just do, 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 and just tackle any freaking thing you have that day. Um, so maybe that will help you. I know that's helped me in regards to just kind of thinking about like, or visualizing or being just mindful, whatever you want to call it. Okay. 60 minutes, 75 minutes, 90 minutes. 120 minutes, right? Like that's a short amount of time that I got to lock in and I got to do X, Y, and Z. Like, let's go, like, let's do it. Um, and honestly, when I first started my brand, it was, it was started with this kind of concept of accountability for me to train, uh, 2018, I had just blew my lat out and that's when I fully dove into my brand. And I was just super excited for this, um, this brand building, stage in my life that, you know, I was filming every workout and I did September accountability for 30 days. I made sure to post my workout every day and tag like whoever wanted. And it was a lot of work, but there was that sense of responsibility that I had and still have for like, all right, well, I got this, this, this big platform and this audience. So it's like, I got to freaking, I got to do me. I got to show that like, I'm trying to get after it now. People who see my stuff, they're like, dang, he's getting after it. Now I want to get after it. And it's just a spreading of this positive uh, growth influence, right? That I believe is so infectious. And if you can surround yourself with people like that, or you can, you know, flood your feed on your phone with people like that, then that's extremely important. But, um, how can I keep it fun and more energized to go train by myself when it's not like that? There's no one around competing against in the moment or pushing me again. Um, the second thing is like the last thing I would say is I have so much curiosity about what, what the best version of myself looks like. And it's my responsibility to do everything in my power to get to that version of myself. And if I don't, then I only have myself to blame, right? I don't know if that one kind of hits home for you, but for me, it's understanding that I have a limited amount of time, right? You look at your peak physical slash athletic performance ability. You have this limited amount of time, this, this limited window of time. And it's like, if you don't give it all you got within that window, then your prime and your, your opportunity is gone. And then you live the rest of your life, like in a state of not regret maybe, but just like, Oh, I wonder if this, I wonder if I did this. And I had this conversation with my dad, uh, yesterday, you know, and I was fortunate enough to have a father that, you know, played ball, played in the big leagues and like learn from him. And one of the biggest lessons I got from him is he retired at 33 and he said he was in the best shape of his life. And it got better as, you know, you got up to like 38 
And so me knowing that now, it's like, all right, well, shoot, I'm 30, even though I feel like I'm freaking 16, you know, so that means I got this amount of time and it, and eight years may seem like a lot, dude, but it's so freaking short time flies. And that's something I've realized as I get older is time flies and I got to do everything I freaking can do in this, in this short temporary life to, um, be proud of, of who I am and what I do, man, that's a lot. I don't know, maybe one of those 10 things that I kind of referred to help, but maybe, maybe, uh, what I was saying about the brand stuff was that it helped me cause it was like a sense of responsibility that I had to go to the gym and I had to film it and I had to post it. If that's something that you want to do, right? Like showing up and like kind of showing off. I know when you go to a gym, you know, and there's people, you do have more of a sense of like, all right, let's get after it, man. Let's show off and impress these people. That could be your thing too. If you're training alone, um, to, to like record it and post it, create a brand around it. That'd be dope. All right. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, (laughs) I know that was a lot kind of went off on a tangent. Now I got to go to the bathroom. So cutting this short. See ya.